Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. So we uh, keep up mostly with the two major currencies, the euro currency and the New Zealand dollar by far. So because they are currently mostly interesting for us and they uh, provide some some setup. Uh, as on the New Zealand dollar, as on the euro currency, we have some uh, trading setup. It's where monitoring. So yesterday we are talking on the euro currency. Uh, it's currently we do not see any significant changes, and today probably. Maybe if data, I mean the unemployment, um, really will be shaken for the market today. Maybe we we'll get some uh, clarity. We we'll, we we'll get some uh, direction in the market. So uh, because for euro currency, we're mostly interested in the breakout. So whether the market will break up important level or not. If not, then the bearish trend will stand intact, and we should be ready for the upward continuation. If uh, euro currency indeed will break up the resistance that we have discussed yesterday. Well, in this case, the short-term picture could change, and the euro currency could reach as far as 118 area. So, it's really possible, but uh, currently we just uh, need the final uh, point in this analysis, so uh, the, the breakout, whether we will get it or not. So, on the New Zealand dollar, we have a bit uh, different picture because uh, here our trading setup mostly is based on this upper action because this upper action is bullish engulfing patch uh, or bu bullish grabber pattern on the daily on the weekly chart and uh, this pattern by itself suggests the taking out of this top but uh, it, uh, it doesn't mean that it will be limited but just the taking out of this top this will be just a money minimum target but um, by the grabber market very often starts some far going action. Currently we're mostly focused on this top, but what will happen after that it also could provide some more potential for our production. So and uh, within the current week we mostly discussed the possible retracement. Since market has hit the upper bottom on the daily chart uh, and we said well uh, it means uh, that probably the market will show some downward retracement back inside of this body of this uh, bullish engulfing before uh, sorry uh, bullish grabber of course. Uh, before the upper direction will continue, and mostly we are trying to predict and uh, and uh, forecast the possible depth of this retracement, where the opportunity for taking the long position could could could, could appear. So uh, currently we see that the not really significant retracement has happened. Market indeed has formed this bearish engulfing pattern that suggests slightly deep retracement. But currently it stands in the upper retracement, minor retracement back inside of the body of this page. So it means that uh, in the normal situation when we do not have any significant uh, release and statistics, uh, we, we could say that probably market should show some downward continuation just to complete the target of this engulfing page. And we have said that in the beginning of the week. But it, ha it, so, it happens so that uh, as you can see market just has the lack of time to complete this setup because we get the non-farm release, uh, release with, the, uh, with a few hours ahead. So hardly market will be able to complete all this uh, structure before the num we will get the numbers. It means that uh, numbers release will be involved in this process and we should understand what really could happen. So uh, on the 4 hour time frame chart market has taken the shape of the pattern that we have discussed. We said that probably market will reach the confidence support test of monthly pivot, pivot point, weekly pivot, and then could show the bounce. This could become the right wing. So initially we have suggested this A, B, C top D retracement. But we thought, if you remember our discussion, we thought that this A, B, C will be completed right before non-farm payrolls release will happen. So by our suggestion. Uh, since we have the bullish grabber, we, we think that non-farm payrolls release could push market higher if they will be weak, and that will put the start uh, for uh, bullish uh, grabber on the weekly. 
uh, chart. But currently we see that this uh, retracement has taken more time and uh, currently it seems that non-farm proposal is, will be involved in this retracement. Uh, currently uh, Raiders poll suggested we should get 180,000 of the new job created while many analysts uh, expect even greater numbers above the 200,000. So it means that mostly they expect the positive non-farm proposal is. Uh, the ADP report also has shown the 179,000. It means that to complete the expectation uh, of the Reuters poll, uh, there should be just uh, 1,000 created in the government sector. But uh, hardly this will be so, and probably there should be more. Uh, hence, we could suggest that probably uh, the positive surprise in the today's statistics uh, has more chances to happen rather than the negative surprise. As a result, uh, here we could get some short-term downward acceleration by the federal uh, by the non-farm payrolls release. So it means that non-farm payrolls, um, following this logic, it means that the non-farm payrolls release probably will be not the uh, not the driving factor for the upper breakout, but it probably will be the finalizing um, factor for downward action. So to complete this A B C D pattern down, that will be the um, the uh, function of the uh, non-farm parole release. Probably, as a result, we could get uh, this target somewhere, probably here. So. 71 area approximately. So that could be as a result of completion of this head and shoulders and in fact the, the non-farm rules probably will be just the uh, reason uh, to lead New Zealand dollar to some deeper retracement as we have thought initially. So we said initially probably market should show some deeper retracement. So that's conclusion that we could uh, make right now on the possible non-farm proposals. Uh, so uh, on the hourly chart, we see how this could happen. As you can see, market is now is approaching to the 618 resistance, 7111, from this top to this bottom, 618. And also here we have the completion, uh, the final destinations of two different targets. First one is the uh, initial A, B, C bottom, 1618 extension, 7216. Uh, so just a few pips higher. And Completion of this larger A, B, C bottom D patient stands approximately 72.30. So difference just the 20 pips between the level and the, these two targets. Also this corresponds to the previous top of this patient. That's why it's, it seems that uh, right before non-farm parallels, uh, market will complete this target within the few hours probably. And non-farm parallels release as they expected mostly to be uh, positive rather than negative. Uh, will trigger this downward action. As a result, we could get this A, B, C top D pattern, and this will probably lead uh, will lead to the completion of the downward retracement. Hence, the upward action based on the uh, grabber on the weekly chart will be postponed on the next week probably. So that's just following the current expectations and current uh, technical picture, the, 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 the conclusion that we could make. Uh, so let's see how it will happen in reality.